I got injured uh, due to alcohol and drugs. I made a poor decision and uh, it was a suicide attempt. That was about four years ago. So now I'm just trying to give back to the community by supporter of the Phoenix Society and involved with a volunteer program with them where I mentor other burn survivors inside and outside hospitals and try to give them some experience, strength, and hope to carry on their lives and find some use out of their purpose for themselves. I also am looking to finish my associate's degree in psychology here within the next year, maybe continue on and go after a bachelor's and possibly a master's. I've been working with uh, the System Technology Council too um, of Easter Seals, trying to help them get some of these grants out into people's hands and they've helped me, help provide me with a phone. They provide me with a tablet that, um, and also the training that I've needed to help me with being successful and going back to school and continuing my education. Doing everything I can to finish up school right now is my main goal in front of me and be active in recovery. Jeffrey, the, one of the first things that I really noticed about him um, was his tenacity and his ability to really communicate his needs. So one of the things that I see over and over with him is his real ability to know what he wants even though a piece of assistive technology might not get him all the way there, he will piece together things uh, in a way that works well for him. I think that tenacity comes from the urge and want to give back to the community because of all that has been given to me as far as support. And I've had a lot of people at the University of Iowa Hospital who still stay in contact with me and cheer me on and uh, you know they're, they're, they build me up and that makes me want to be able to be someone who can do that to other people. I've been inspired by Jeffrey really um, from the moment I met with him to really come back from where he started and really keep moving forward can be challenging because there are a lot of hurdles that are placed in front of him um, through figuring things out and figuring out a new way to live his life. And he just keeps such a positive and inspirational frame of mind. And that really helps me think about when I'm struggling, what can I think about positively? The team at Easter Seals has really purposed itself to be a connector for information and referral to help people figure out what it is that they need and help them get connected to other individuals. So someone might come to us through the lending library and say, oh, I just want to try a device. But one of the things that we're really trained to do is ask some additional questions like, have you considered what you might do in the kitchen for accessibility or how would you do this and it really starts opening the door of going okay how do i want to accomplish doing my life now in this new situation if you acquired a disability or how can i improve my current situation i think assistive technology supports me to be successful in my daily life by allowing me to communicate with different resources that i need to move forward and Communication is very important in uh, any type of success, I believe. And uh, just learning the different advances there's been in assistive technology to allow people to communicate when they have disabilities, it's uh, very beneficial and I'm very happy for him, very grateful. He purchased a iPhone 7, which happens to be the last iteration of that type of phone that didn't have wireless charging. And so he really needed a bump up and it was important for him to be able to independently charge his phone at night and not require someone else to plug his phone in for him. And so that was really an important step to his independence. Honestly, my goals for the future are to be able to enter back in the workforce, either work for a nonprofit or be in some service to some kind of humanity or community, maybe doing some therapy for like a recovery community or something along those lines. I just right now I'm kind of up in the air. I'm kind of waiting for the thing to be put in front of me, whatever God has for me. I'm sure he'll put it in front of me. And if it's something that I think I should take part in, I will. I'm very open to 
any any different ideas. I believe partnering with Easter Stills can help me achieve those goals because uh, there's been so many good connections that I have been able to gain access to through Easter Stills, and it gives me a good resume for my application to go through these and, and work with the work with Easter Stills and keep providing the technology support that I need and. It helps me move forward with my goals of completing school. That's what pushes me forward is to know that it's actually making a difference in the community to other people and it ain't just doing it to boost my ego. It's to help other people be more proactive in their lives and also uh, just have a sense of purpose.